Welcome to the Austin Method, where we help you develop the skills of square dancing. This segment is called Behind the Scenes. This is where we share things with you other than the skills we're already sharing in the Austin Method. So here's the deal. The better you dance, the better you hear. It's a known phenomenon, and there are a number of reasons for it, but struggling dancers, and this of course includes newer dancers, cannot hear the calls as well as experienced dancers. There's a number of reasons for it, but the biggest one is that when your brain is figuring out, trying to figure out what to do with the last thing, it's so busy that it's not listening to the next thing, which means you didn't hear it, right? So you'd be amazed. Pay attention to who thinks they can't hear the calls and who thinks that the sound system's not so good. You'll find it's usually the struggling callers. Now that's not to say that there are not halls and facilities where the sound isn't bad or old equipment or scenarios where you really can't hear. Bad acoustics, positioning in the hall. One of the things that most people don't realize or think about is that from the speakers, the sound goes out much like a cone, all right? So you would think that being up front, closer to the speakers, would be a better place to be. And it is if you're somewhere in the center, but if you're off in the wings, okay, way up front in the corners is about the best, is about the worst place in the hall for being able to hear. So make sure you're positioned well, but other than that, if everybody else can hear in the hall, maybe it's not a acoustical problem. There are other things that can lead to a little bit of confusion in your mind if you've not danced to other colors, so a different color, a different style. This might sound a little sexist, but female colors, particularly if you're not used to female colors, uh, has to do with their vocal range. Their normal vocal range is also in the vocal range where you're expecting to hear consonants cut off. If you don't hear those consonants, it can be a little confusing. So there are actual reasons, but also once you get used to dancing to female callers or any, any particular caller, uh, you'll find that you hear better. But the biggest thing, of course, is the pressure or the challenge level that you're facing at that particular dance. If you're a newer dancer, all dances are a little challenging. It does, it, it does seem like you can't hear, but improve your skills, work on it, get a little more experience, what we call floor time, and your hearing will improve. I'm going to talk about something else that you really can't do anything about, but if the music and the caller, something's not right and it's confusing you, but you're a pretty decent dancer, pay attention to what the caller's doing with the music. Some callers are what I call thumb abusers. They have a volume control on their microphone that controls the volume of the music. They think that if they turn their music down when they give a call and then turn it back up and then turn it down and then turn it back up, that they can be heard better. Many people, not all, but many people, some people aren't paying attention to the music, but many people find that extremely distracting because they want to know what's going on. They're, as humans, we're very sensitive, well, all animals are very sensitive to sound, and particularly the absence of sound. If you think about it, you're sitting around a campfire, there are birds or crickets, there's all kinds of noise, 
and it's all background noise like the music and square dancing and it disappears. When that noise disappears, that means there's a lion sneaking up on you or a bear sneaking up on you. And it's actually the absence of sound that often alerts us to danger. And even during square dancing, if you have a sensitivity to that, your mind goes into a different place and it becomes harder to concentrate. Not much you can do about it. Some callers are just thumb abusers. We'll try and get them to improve on that or, you know, forego that habit, but it is what it is. Being aware of it can help. Being aware of it can actually hurt too, because once you start recognizing it and noticing it, it can consciously drive you crazy. So the best thing though you can do if you want to hear better, if you want to have better hearing is to practice your skills, get better, get some floor time, get different callers, use the Austin method to get your skills down really solid. Your hearing will be better. Make sure to like and comment before you go. This is the way YouTube tells other people that you found this material engaging one way or the other. Comments are always appreciated. Likes and shares, of course, are much appreciated. And remember, however well-informed and carefully considered they may be, the opinions expressed here are solely my opinions and don't necessarily reflect the opinions of others involved in this production. Thank you for visiting the Austin Method. We hope to see you on the dance floor soon.